Uh, in my handy dandy sketchbook here, I put together a quick color composition of what I would like to do for this painting. Um, I organized how I want my cools and warms. Warm and cool, warm and cool. Our main character here, she's going to be holding a torch and she's our main light source. So we want all the warms to be up in the foreground and uh, really uh, spotlight the action of this piece. So her light source will be really warm and we want the background to be nice and cool with purples and blues. With that in mind, uh, I organized my acrylic palette to start working on this background here. So we've got purples and blue. there's a little bit of blue here. We got some red and orange and this is going to be our sun area. So what I'm going to grab here, let's see, I'm going to grab a nice big, let's grab this eight here. This is a fun one. Uh, and we're going to start to block in this area here. So it's going to go from dark to light down here just in the background. So we kind of get the impression of a sunset. Now we don't want to go totally black because technically a night sky isn't black. It's kind of dark. <laughs> So let's start to block this in here. I got some purple. Let's add a little bit of black to kind of mute the color. See how it muted the color there. And a little bit of water. Maybe a little bit of blue just to soften it up. Bring it up a little more. A little black to mute it. By adding black or white to a very chromatic color, you're going to diffuse the intensity or chroma of the, of the, uh, the color itself. So we're just going to block it in here real, you know, really easily. I don't want to think about too much while I'm working on this. I just want to get the canvas covered. I just want to cover it as best I can. I don't want to go totally black. Now see how this, if this was a white surface, all this white back there would have been shown through. But since I have my underpainting down, it's already creating a value on its own. So I'll just continue to move down. Now see how I'm kind of just loosely putting it in there in a random pattern. I'm not going this way. I'm not going this way. I'm just kind of filling it in. I don't want to, once again, I don't, I don't want to think too much while I'm at this stage of the game. Yeah, adding a little water to the paint Thin it out a little bit so it does have a nice flow from the brush. The more and more paint you start to add on top of these layers, the thicker it's going to get. And the smoother it'll get too as you work the surface. Add a little black to mute it. Let's add a little blue down now. Start to mix that in. All right, now that we've got kind of that dark area blocked in, let's work in this setting sun and work up into the darks. Same brush, clean it up here a little bit so you don't get purple in there. Now let's get this super chromatic sun, let's get this burning. The sun is just going to burn your eyes. <laughs> 